This is the Misfit Vegan Podcast, episode 323. I remember when I used to work harder on my job than I did on myself. When I stopped that, everything changed for me. Everything changed. You see, when you don't feel like going to work, you still go to work. When you don't feel like doing that meeting, you still do that meeting. When you don't feel like talking to that person, you still talk to that person. You have to learn how to work harder on yourself than you do on your job, which sometimes and most of the time means you're gonna have to do it whether you want to or not. You see, if you want to do something, that's great. But most of the time, you're not going to want to do it. The people that are successful do the things they don't want to do anyway. That's it. That's the formula for success. Doing what you really don't want to do, but that you need to do to get to the goal that you want. Now, some days you're going to want to work out. You're going to want to create, you're going to crave that. Because what happens is you get dopamine from working out. You get serotonin. You feel really, really good. You feel great after working out. But some days you don't want to do that. Even though it feels so good afterwards, some days you just don't want to do it. And you know, some days I want to eat shit. I totally do. Especially when something happens, when I get like bad news or somebody, I don't know. Let me think, what are the bad things in my life? When, you know, I think about my mom, my sister, my grandma, my grandpa. When I think about people that have been mean to me in my past, people that have not valued me. When I think about all the regrets I have, when I think about how much I played myself in my life, um, you know, things like that. When I get down, I want to eat crap because I'm human I'm normal that's a normal feeling and what happens is is that I don't know if this is recording hold on (laughs) my phone likes to just go blank sometimes and I don't know if I'm recording so am I wasting my time here because it's happened many times before oh lord I'm so sorry I hope I'm not recording because that's going to be an interesting episode. Oh, I am. Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> uh, this an- this app is kind of fucked up. They're- okay, people are going to crash into me. Okay, sorry, guys. I'm on my bike. So anyway, um, the situation is that... The situation is that... I want to eat shit sometimes. But I don't. I don't want to work out sometimes but I do and that is why I've been successful in losing weight keeping it off and sticking to a healthy raw vegan diet now you can be a vegan without being healthy you can be raw without being healthy that's what I'm gonna go over in my course if you're someone who is brand new to the raw vegan lifestyle this course is worth (laughs) so much more money than I'm charging you know why because I would pay whatever I had. If it was $50,000, I would pay it. You know why? Because I didn't know what I was doing. Thank you. I didn't know what I was doing when I started a raw vegan lifestyle. And so I fucked up my teeth. I just, I just, I destroyed my enamel and you can't get that back. But now I know better and I've not had any, any issues with my enamel in a very long time now, but I did not know what I was doing. And I also didn't know what I didn't know. I just didn't know. That's why I was bloated for so long because I was eating wrong. I didn't know that dried fruit is not real fruit. Dried fruit is candy and basically you should consider it processed foods. And you should have it very, very sparingly in emergency situations. But like, I wouldn't even recommend it in emergency situations. I would just recommend fasting. (laughs) If you have to eat dried fruit, I'd fast. Seriously, you're, you're traveling, you can bring fruit. You can bring fresh fruit. You see, the body wants water. The body wants liquid. The body doesn't want some dry, sticky stuff. 
It's going to stick on your teeth. And... Yeah, okay. We'll talk more about that in the course. But yeah, there's a lot of things that I did wrong. Some things that I did right, but I did a lot wrong and I didn't know. But I'm making, I'm writing my wrongs. And so I am making it right because I'm helping others. That's what I tell myself anyway. And so yeah, I just got out of hot yoga. It was an hour and a half class. Um, very, very, very difficult. I actually started crying in the middle of class. And I don't know if I started crying because it was so hard or I was thinking about my sister, just how much I miss her. Um, sometimes I, uh, you know, I'm on my phone all the time. I'm working all the time, either on myself or on my life purpose. And what happens is, is that I'm always busy. But in yoga, I'm not on the phone. I'm not busy. I'm just there. And all the thoughts in my head come to the surface. And, um, you know, it's not, it's not uncommon for people to start crying in yoga after they, you know, have gone through stuff, which we're all going through stuff. Every single person on this earth is going through something right now. I want you to know that you're not alone. This too shall pass. And I also want you to know you'll never get what you want unless you get uncomfortable if you're trying to sign up for my course and you're trying to stay comfortable, you're not going to change. You're not going to stay the same. If you don't work out, if you don't do the worksheets and the exercises, if you don't push yourself, you won't get anything out of it. And you know what? I've had people, not a lot, but I've worked with people that just want me to do the work and it don't work. It don't work. So anyway, that's it. That's it, guys. If you're interested in joining my course, I have two spots left. I'm looking for two really dedicated people that are interested in doing the work with me. I put in 100% effort. No, I'm sorry. I put in 120% effort. So I'm looking for people that are willing to put in at least 119.5% effort. If that's you, send me an email, jd at misfitvegan.com. I'll send you all the details. Just definitely put I am ready in the title because I get a lot of emails every day. And I'll, I'm really only responding to the ones that say I am ready. So if you're trying to get my attention, put I am ready in the title, jd at misfitvegan.com. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for listening. Work harder on yourself than you do on your job. That's a Jim Rohn quote. It really hit me one day. I think it was 2017. Yep, 2017. It hit me because I didn't understand that. I didn't understand that you're, that it's your job to work on yourself. And if you, if you can do that, if you can show up for yourself when you don't want to, if you can do all the things that you're supposed to do, just like you do for your job, but if you do them for yourself, well, then one day you can have everything you want. You can reach every single goal. One day, you can work for yourself even. I don't have a job, guys. I have a lifestyle. And I consider everything I do part of that lifestyle. So I consider everything I do something that I have to do. And usually it's stuff I want to do, but sometimes I don't. This morning, I did not want to go to yoga. It is so fucking hard. It is so hard. It's not regular yoga, guys. It's like yoga from hell. <laughs> and I know I used to go to a, if you're an old time Misfit Vegan listener, I used to go to a place called Yoga Hell, but this is even worse. This woman is like the female Goggins. I just want you guys to know what I'm dealing with here. Okay. Y'all thought I was the female Goggins. No, this yoga teacher is, and I love it, but it's very, very hard. So like, I don't want to go a lot of times, but I still go. Because I consider it my job. When you consider it your job to eat healthy, your job to work out, your job to do breath work and meditation and to sleep early and to prioritize, you know, eating healthy, then you're going to succeed. You got to work harder on yourself than you do on your job. I love you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, boo.